And we are live. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the fourth episode of PDAX's webinar. No? Um, we have this every week, and we, just, we, we invite special guests over to talk about crypto and uh, everything you need to know about crypto. No? So first of all, I'm Kyle, and I'll be your host for uh, today's webinar. And I hope everyone is safe, first of all. Um, right now, given the uh, increasing cases from COVID, Ngayon, no? um, so uh, please ingat po tayo, um, amidst amidst everything. Um, so last week we learned the basics of how to build your cryptocurrency trading strategy with Sir Ken, Sir Yuri from Z Freaks Tribe. And if you want to watch that, we'll put that link sa comments below. We'll pin it. No, so. For this week, naman, as you might already know, we'll be having a live charting session and Q&A with our speaker. But before we introduce the speaker, my surprise kami para sa inyong lahat. So stay tuned until the end of the webinar for the surprise. No? So let's just say there's a special cashback code for you when you cash in PDAC. No? So let's begin. For this week's webinar, we are fortunate to have a special guest. Uh, he is a prominent figure in the trading community here in the Philippines, and he's the business development lead of Investagrams. Um, he's also a private fund manager. He is none other, let me introduce him now and invite him, no? Uh, he's none other than Paolo Toma Cruz, a.k.a. Toma Trader. So, hello, Toma. Welcome. Welcome to the webinar. Hi, Kyle. Hi, bro. Musta. Thank you. Thank you for the invite. Yes, thank you. Thank you for coming and making um making time for us now so Toma, for those who don't know you could you um ex uh just introduce yourself now like how long can it trade and what's your background okay so hi everyone um to the pdax community and you know, quick background thank you Kyle, for the introduction so i work uh, at investigrams if you guys don't know what investigrams is Investigram is a virtual trading platform where we provide analytical feet analytical uh, features we provide trading tools and stock market edu and financial market education rather for aspiring investors and traders so in education my kita niyan sa facebook page namin or sa youtube or sa, sa platform mismo and so i've been working there for about a year so my investment background naman so i began investing in the stock market when i was uh, 16 so that's why i made my first investment uh, i remember i was first year college and then i went all in on trading when i was 18 i was um uh, ending my second year of college right and then i just um, the way I also discovered trading was through Investagram. So before I became a uh, part of the team, I was simply just a user learning from say, JC's, Naberio, and all the team, all the people at Investagrams. Then I went all in, and after a year, yun, uh, tatrabaho now dito, and I became, um, I'm handling my own private fund. I started now as 18 also, right? And I now trade not only local stocks, I also trade global markets. So I trade mga indices, crypto also, uh, commodities, uh, forex, and uh, your focus ko talaga ngayon is uh, U.S. stocks. Right? But sa crypto naman, I started um crypt kung crypto um specifically I started in cryptocurrency I think uh late 2019 right because I'm part of the subscription service of Sinahavi Medina which is uh, Open Journal and one of the opportunities na uh, I mean highlight nila is the opportunities in the crypto uh, currency space. No, I'm not going specific, but they opened my eyes and showed me that ah, my opportunities are here. So before I act from Philippine stocks, the unang um, international or other kinds of markets I pinasok was crypto. After so Philippine stocks, crypto. Then after that, I went for everything else. So unique experience because crypto. Actually, medyo kinakabahan nga ako. Eh. Usually, pag nag chart session ako, ang focus ko talaga is Philippine stocks. Eh. Kung ano nandoon kayo sa Instagrams. Uh, Philippine stocks. So actually, this is the first time I'm gonna do a pure, a pure, right, cryptocurrency chart session. And yung mga pairs ba yung tawag? Basta yung mga crypto na titignan ko, it's actually, di ko pa sila talaga titignan ever, right? So ngayon, uh, first, so first time ko yung titignan, right? Fresh so, look. Yeah. yeah, fresh look, fresh look. Right. Awesome. So for those who just tuned in now, no, hello and welcome again to our uh, webinar. No? Um, we'll be having a live charting and Q&A. With none other than Toma Trader. And share ko lang bago, bago I give the floor to Toma. Na here at PDAX, we also have a um, we have we have charts that you you can check and peruse and select like study. You know? Um pair for this session, uh, we'll be using Thomas charts on Investagrams to um, 
parang get those added features and indicators. So habang uh, din develop pa namin yung features namin um sa Instagram kaya diba? Siyempre. So um if I may take it away no at uh, let's let's begin na siguro no to. Let's get game. All right. Game. So share now on screen. Game. Okay, let's start. All right, so guys, as I mentioned, no, this is actually the first time na nagitrade naman ako ng crypto, pero usually uh tete ko talaga na si Bitcoin. So I guess let's start, no. Um, Ken, I sorry, uh, Kyle, let's start with um Bitcoin. Bitcoin, yes. Right. Okay, so I believe, if I'm not mistaken, um, last time si Ken or si Yuri from Zfix Tribe, what he discussed was um so basic price action no mga support resistance, and yun lang din yung focus natin ngayon. So if I may just share, right, yung paano ko discover si Bitcoin dati. So grab it up during this phase, right? Sobrang euphoric right na stage. Uh, wala pa ako sa di pa ako aware masyado sa crypto market, 'di ba? Ka, pero lagi ko na rin eh, kala ko rin na parang si Sabel lahat mag-1 million dollars, 'di ba? Etc. Yeah. Pero bumagsak. And then I got into crypto um probably I made a very small trade here back um back in 2018. I was still interning for multinational company so i made a very small trade here which is really basic i was buying i was buying on support right i'm sure this is a topic that you really can i was buying on support here but eventually nag break down no? so i cut loss ako. but anyway um, i just want to share before i go on to what i think what i'm looking at right now for bitcoin what was my pinaka recent na trade no i just want to share right so now i remember it was i think it was about late 2019 then ano nga bang time I believe I was looking at this area. Right, so those asking, no, may mga nagtatanong. So sa crypto market, um, so kung nag-trade ako ng local stocks ngayon, na Philippine stocks, gagana ba yung system ko sa global market? Whether it's crypto, whether it's forex, whether it's um commodities, US stocks, indices, the answer is yes. Diba? Basta marunong ka mag-technical analysis, magamit mo yun in any market. Diba? You don't even need to know. I forgot who said this. I think it was Richard Dennis. He can trade any market without knowing the name. Basta may charts. But of course, the the difference lang is the fundamental drivers are different, diba? If it's stocks na uh, prices or in the US market, yung mga gap ups and gap downs are driven by uh, earnings, right? earnings reports. While it's a Forex, maybe it's a Fed announcement or a central bank announcement that may move the markets, right? So crypto, I'm not really sure. I, I'm sure that the th- uh, what you call it, the halving is also one major event for crypto. But anyway, just to share, you know, the first trade or the first legit trade that I made to Bitcoin last year was ito. So basically, lang, I was just using, I think this is like para my downtrend channel, right? And then I bought it at the breakout. Right? So, and also, if you take a look here, my earlier sign. So we have an inverse. If you take, if you drill it down, right, to the early chart, which I won't do na muna ngayon, you also have an inverse head and shoulders pattern. They broke out of the neckline. So I was able to get it right here. So at around 8,200. But tapos at this point, sabi ko, ganda na price action. I was really looking to hold it for a bigger move. So after that, it made, as you guys know, I'm more of a price action trader myself. So nag ante la ako, nag continuation pattern. I was waiting for, so nag add pa ako sa position ko dito at this breakout to 8.3. Made another continuation pattern all the way up. Tapos, basically, umab- na break na niya yung 10,000, right? So nung na break niya yung 10,000, sabi ko, pucha, ano, solid to, baka mag 11,000, 12,000. Pero yun, nag top na siya. Right here. So, di pa ako nagbebenta niyan kasi medyo first big trade ko to sa crypto. And then, medyo malaking size na nilagay ko. And then, yun, nauntog lang siya dyan, right? Nauntog lang siya. Basic lang, if you were a basic support assistance trader, you would have sold it somewhere around here. So, that's um that's around, I think, a two, uh, yan, 30% gain sa crypto. Sobrang laki na nun, right? Sobrang laki na yun for Bitcoin. And yeah. then, eventually, bumagsak. I think I got out. I was really lucky I got out of this candle. I got out with a small profit. Wala akong plano talaga to sell eh. Plano ko talaga hawakan eh. So, yun. Um, I sold it around here. I think at around break even. Or a small profit. Right? I was so lucky because... Right? It was a few days before this big drop here. Right? right? So, this huge drop. Diba? From this point, diba? 50% down na kaagad. So, buti lang di ako nadali dun. Right? So, that was the first big trade I made sa Bitcoin. Right? So, anyway. A second... Ito naman... A second big trade I made sa Bitcoin before I share what I think about Bitcoin right now was San nga ba yun, teka? San nga ba yun? Nung bumaba siya eh, during the COVID pandemic, parang that's when all the fear entered eh, no? 
That's why boom Correct. ba? Parang na-uwi nga si Bitcoin eh. Hindi siya, hindi to yung exact, ito maaga pa eh, mga March, this is March 12. So, three days before the lockdown. Three or four days before the lockdown. Yeah, so nag-crash na siya even before yung yung stock market. So now, ano nga bang, teka, teka. I just forgot what, kasi medyo malaki yung kinita ko dito, so medyo memorable. So let me just put out an indicator. So for those who don't know what this is, uh, this is a moving average. One of, one, of a, uh, one of the many indicators available. Basically, minimeasure niya yung trend. So basically, a moving average is parang kinukuha niya yung average ng past 50 candles. Right? So past 50 candles, na ginagawa niya ng parang trend. So basically, lang, may linya lang sa chart. If the price is below your, your chosen moving average, um, um, negative. So that's um, that's a bad sign, diba? My my downtrend. If it's above, that means it's a good thing that the trend's intact. So usually, yung ginagamit is MA20, yun yung short term, MA50, medium term, MA100, yung long term. At this case, I'm using um, MA50 for the medium term trend, right? So I bought it here at this point. At this point. And it was just simply breaking above MA50, showing me na potentially. Right, that the medium term trend is starting to go to an uptrend after this big bounce, right? So I think I was using the hourly chart to trade it at that time. So take I just want to show the exact execution. That was so nag ten nag spike ten four teka. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Sure. Eto, to, 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 to. Exactly this one. So kaya ba price action lang sa crypto? Yes, kaya. So here. Basic lang plotted, right? So sa crypto, sa, um, baka I don't really tri- go down to super micro time frame unless sobrang euphoric na tas gusto ko na magbenta. Usually stick to bigger time frames, wait for bigger moves to happen. And I plotted this um downtrend line, very simple. Bought it at the breakout, bought it at 7.2. Tapos sinawakan ko lang to, itong consolidation. So tinrail ko lang yung EMA 50. And then yun, eventually nag-trend siya. So then the break niya yung so it broke out here. So we have another breakout here. Added to my I added a small amount to my position. They know I ko na. They, I think I sold. I sold. I think I sold at this candle. I sold it here. Ma eight 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 again because it looked it looked really extended to me. Right. So yung kinitao jan was around um yan 22% tas naka leverage ako and everything. So medyo significant yung kinitao jan. And then after that, yun medyo same na yung theme. Eh. We're trying to see if kaya ba niya basagin yung 10,000 right. And after multiple tests right of that 10,000 area, if I can zoom out on my chart, diba lagi siya na uuntog doon. May overshoots, diba? So kapag buy kapag buyer ka on the breakout, siguro na kailang cuts ka na. If you're shorting it to so global markets, where the most short, if you're shorting it, you're able to commit as a swing on the downwards. But anyway, if we're just going to focus on long only, diba, on a bigger move perspective, wala lagi na uuntog sa 10,000. And recently, wala untog din. So now let's go out to the daily chart. So actually, yun din, I tried multiple times to see if I can position myself before the breakout no, on 10,000. I tried buying here, this area, this support area. Naga accumulate ako. But as recently, napakat lang ako sa 9,000. Nung nag-below 9,000, meron akong average around 9,000. Wala eh. So parang ngayon, mag-aantay na lang ng confirmation. Lagi nag-overshoot eh. Tatama na on tayo sa 10K, diba? tapos, mag- tapos mga olats. So now, knowing na 10K is a really big psychological number, what I'm looking at now is the bigger picture. Diba? So if we zoom out to the weekly chart, ano ba yung nangyayari? Diba? So after, so di pa tayo umaabot. So diba 20K yung high last... um. 2017. So I'm okay. So I'm looking to see if it can break this major long-term downturn line. You know, yun eh. diba? From 20,000. Yeah, ay, yeah, it's close to 20,000. So that's what I'm waiting for. A major similar to my trade before. I'm waiting for a major breakout from that resistance level. Diba? So now it's consolidating directly below. But directly below that level. And dalawa lang yun eh. You can either buy the dips. Diba? Pwede ka mag-position at support, which I which was what I was trying to do. Pero nag-breakdown pa. Or you can just wait for the confirmation of break 10,000. Pero in this trend line, pwede yung break 9,899. Pero for me, I would rather wait for the break of that whole, parang whole number, 10,000. Very significant. Coupled with above average volume on the upside. So gusto ko makita parang ito. Nung nag-breakdown 
Ay, nung nagka-red candle dito, line of volume, di ba? So, I want to see that kind of volume when it breaks above 10,000. But for now, nasa gitna siya ng range eh. So, usually, now it's in a it's a, mo, it's in a moment na wala pang deciding factor, no? Pero, so, kung big picture play lang, you can see, baka mag-dip pa siya near 8.7, 8.6, or you can just get the breakout at 8.10. But, yung maganda sa crypto is you can also drill it down to, yung nga, micro time frames. I'm not one, probably the lowest I would go is 15 minutes. So, yung mga opportunities, opportunities naman dyan, for example, we have a break, di ba? Here, we have a consolidation, and then we have a breakout at 9.3, right? 9.3 area. Diba? It's a quick, it's a one percent lang siya, pero sa crypto malaki na yan, right? It's a very significant swing, so you can trade that, diba? If you're if you're if you're used to shorting, you can also short the downtrends. But usually, I don't short it; I just go long all the time, right? So yun, that's what I. So it really depends on you, diba? but I also try to look for yung nga, mga pwedeng trades sa sa short sa sa micro time frames. Pero um, what I'm focusing now for Bitcoin is to wait for that bigger move. So that's what I. Yun yung tingin ko sa Bitcoin. Okay. May question tayo from Elaine. Ito, Ma. Um, Yo. Ano yung usually holding period mo ng stock? If wala specific, ano yung pinakang average holding period? So, I mean, I guess this applies to all classes. Or, yeah. Uh, so, uh, so it is average holding period. Basta ito yung, uh, hi Elaine, thank you for the question. So, ito lang yung pinaka-important talaga, no? Um, is you hold your winners longer than you hold your losers. Yung pinakamahabang trade ko talaga was six months. That was Wilcon back in 2018. Uh, sold it early 2019. For crypto, probably the longest I've held it was probably about yung trade ko dati, yung shiner ko, yung nag ten, nag, nakuha ko eight something, tapos saan ba yun? I think it was, yeah, this one. Ito na yung pinaka longest holding period ko. It was at around from early January up to March. So mga, mga Two and a half months, siguro. But on average, yung goal ko lang talaga is to hold you winners ko as long as possible. Then yung mga losing trades, whether it's a crypto, sa stocks, sa commodities, is to cut it immediately kapag tumama sa cut loss ko. So, yun. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Elaine, for your question. No? Okay. Sige. Um, my question tayo from Imran here. Hi, Toma. What broker exchange do you use to trade BTC? What what uh broker exchange? I uh first I was I use Pdax, right? So I use Pdax back in until now. Um, nag nag open ako na account. No, yeah, nung late 2019, man, November, October, November. Tapos meron din kasi ako ng uh, eToro account. That's what I use to trade uh global markets. That's my crypto then don. Pero usually, only if I wanna short don. Um, that's what I do sa sa eToro. Pero pag crypto talaga, I use Pdax. And then eToro is just for my uh, yung, yung focus ko talaga ngayon is US stocks. Eh. That's what I use eToro for. So yun okay. dalawa, uh, PDAX and eToro. Thank you, Imran, for your question. So yeah, tama si Toma. We are, we are a BSP license exchange where you can buy and sell uh, crypto. Okay, thank you. Um, Mag-suggest naman kayo, audience, if you want to, if you want Toma to chart uh, certain crypto na you want to learn about, no? Pero... Siguro, Toma, we can go to the next or may sasabihin ka pa ba regarding BTC? Uh, yun na. Basta ako, ano lang talaga, keep it basic. Kapag na-break yung 10,000, yun yung interesting na. So, yun yung parang pwede mag-momentum eh. Pwede mag-spike 10, 5, 11,000, 12,000. Pero hindi pa sure yun, no? Pero yun nga yung interesting na levels, yung 10,000. Yun yung inaabangan ko. Chat, nitig na na to ng mga, ng mga market wizards eh. You have people like, before the having you have people like Paul Tudor Jones, Sinabi niya, he had a position, he probably cut it, I don't know. Mark Minervini, he was trading GBTC, which is another kind of a crypto. Pero focus around Bitcoin pa rin. So the fact that these people are also looking at it, right, maybe it's also time to take into consideration na, na baka nga may mga opportunities tayo makikita sa crypto. Right. Yes. So yung... Um, okay. Sige. Thank you, Toma. We are... My request now for XRP BTC. XRP BTC. Okay. Okay. Ah. So, baka... um, so, Ripple Bit. So, medyo parang illiquid siya tigna. Usually, ginagawa ko lang is yung over US dollar. Yeah, gawin na lang natin next USD. Uh, so, usually mga ganot nilignan ko. Actually, pag nag-take daw ng crypto, talaga take ko lang si Bitcoin. So it's actually also um my first time no looking at yung mga mga other kinds of crypto. So yung, oh altcoin ba tawag dito? 
Yes. Uh, I'll Tama find. yun, altcoin niya. So, grabe yung move ni, ano no, ni Ripple back in 2017, multi-bagger. Right? So, again, for those asking, gagana ba yung usual na technical systems na tinuturo sa PSE sa crypto or other markets? Yes, gagana. Here we have a basic lang. We have consolidation pattern, basic support resistance. We have a consolidation pattern here. We have a really long consolidation pattern here. And just one thing in technical analysis, I'm sure we all know. I forgot who said this, but I mentioned Javi in his talks on Investor Online Summit. Now, someone who mentioned this, who teaches technical analysis in the old times, the bigger the base, the higher in space. So basically, the longer the consolidation, the bigger the upside. And here we have like um, maybe an eight, nine month consolidation before it broke out to the upside. So one, grab it up, 1,000%. Right, so you know, the bigger the base, it applies in stocks, it applies in crypto, it applies in commodities, in forex. The bigger the base, the bigger in space. So we had a very big move in a short period of time um, after that. So parang yun yung kung, 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 to quote Jesse Livermore, yun line of least resistance. Right, so now looking at the current structure right, of um, Ripple, if I were to trade this, sige, teka. again, also my first time looking at this, I'd probably look Maybe from a bigger picture perspective. Hey, ano ba yung major level na kailangan niya basagin? As you can see here, yung downtrend line, which has been intact, no, took siya dito noong early 2020. Um, the, the big move will probably come, if you want to focus on big moves, uh, the big move will probably come on the break of this area. This is around 0.256. Right? Pero medyo malayo pa yan, eh. Of course, during this area, there's also going to be trading opportunities. If you go uh, drill it down to the end today, so, for example, here we have a consolidation pattern again, which is something taught by Ken in the previous webinar. We have a consolidation pattern here, and then we have a simple breakout on, a, on massive volume here. As you can see, diba? during the consolidation, very low volume, and they're on the breakout, and following the breakout, last of volume. But something I just want to advise to everyone, because I experience it, um, crypto is much more volatile no? and much more prone to whipsaws and to shakeouts. So you have to know um, when it's probably the best. You won't really know when the best time to enter is, but you have to always be prepared to know na ba amali yung trade. The trade idea might not materialize. Like for example, here um, we have uh, one, two, three, four, right? Fake outs or fake breakouts bago siya tuloy. Maybe one thing you can also use is the volume indicator to indicate na um, magkufollow through ba. Obviously, you want to see above average volume. And yun nagpakita dito, di ba? So following that, eto to yano. Huge volume spikes on the way to the upside. That confirmed a legit name breakout. Diba? So yeah, we have a basic consolidation pattern. You could have bought the breakout. And then if you missed it, diba, di mo chase, right? there's another continuation pattern here. We have a falling wedge or a descending triangle, whatever you want to call it, before breaking out again. Diba? So maraming opportunities. And yung maganda sa crypto, well, it's a double-edged sword. Diba? Na it's a 24, tama ka, no? it's a 24-7 market. So never siya nag-close. Yes. Tama ba? Tama. Yes, tama. 24-7 yeah. yung crypto. Pwede yeah, so hindi siya close So, one to sawa. Diba? But of course, I don't recommend na lagi kayo mag-trade, no? Kasi ako, I, again, focus on bigger moves. So, I would probably drill it down if I wanted to to 15 minutes eh, to see a better form of the structure. So, mas kita mo yung continuation pattern dito than the breakout. Diba? So, anyway, right now, what I'm looking at for uh, Ripple but so ngayon, medyo nag breakdown sa current structure niya, no? If probably if I drill it down to a lower time frame, it looks like an inverse. It looks like a head and shoulders. Okay, let me look at it from the 15 minute time frame. Yeah, it looks like a head and shoulders pattern. So here you have a left shoulder. This um a bearish reversal pattern. You have the head and then you have the right shoulder. And then a breakdown siya. And what's worse is when it broke down, it broke down on above average volume. But so negative sign yan for me. Now it's retesting that breakdown point. So if it can't um, recover, if it can't move above, right, yung 0.20 or the yung mga 0.1980 area or this MA50, baka retest lang yan before further going down. So parang nag-breakdown, right, and then my final retest before making another move lower. So kung intraday, yun titignan ko. So medyo pass muna ako dito. And then if I were to wait for the bigger move, yun nga, dito sa 0.25 area, 0.2540. So it needed no. So that's for that's for Ripple. Okay. Sige. Um we have questions um from Vanessa. 
Hi, Sir Toma. Bakit po iba-iba ang presyo ng mga crypto sa ibang platform? So, actually, I think I can answer this. Um, yeah, this na lang. Decentralized kasi yung, I mean, the nature, the very nature of crypto is decentralized. Siya. So, um, pag sa platform namin, yung presyo is set by the market. So, the current buyers and current sellers make a price there. Tapos, pupun- kung pupunta sa i- ibang exchange, iiba rin yung presyo. So, um, iba yung iba talaga yung presyo ng mga crypto sa ibang platform. Okay, so thank you Vanessa. Though um, we would like to say na uh, even though that's the case, um, yung spread sa PDAX is um di, di naman ako nagyayabang or something. Pero yung PDAX yung spread dun is uh, is much smaller than um, other platforms here. Kasi kung sa iba bibili ka lang from them there's no there's they're the only seller kumbaga so they can set the price dito sa pdax you can at least um there are buyers and sellers so like the if it, most efficient price makuha mo at least here sa pdax so thank you Vanessa um may tanong si Lawrence Toma hi Toma possible yeah. pa din ba na sa pdax ka bumili tapos gamitin mong chart ay trading view uh, yeah, yes, pwede rin gamitin yung, uh, yung trading view. Especially for yung mas, yung mas exotic na, na altcoins, no? So yeah, Definitely. pwede rin si trading view. So you can use, you can use Investigrams, you can use trading view. Definitely, yes. Okay. Um, can we also use trading view in trading PDAX? Uh, you can use Investigrams. Investigrams has a solid charting, solid yung charting nila doon. So pwede yung i, i gamit yung mga ginagamit ni Toma ngayon for like added analysis no. Okay. Um how do you make your trade how do you make your system and where can we learn in making a trading system? Uh, I think okay. Investigrams can help. No? Go. All right. Go so si Jan. All right. So Okay, siguro the second question first, where can we learn in making a trading system? Well, the advantage we have now compared to traders uh, in, the, in the 80s, in the 90s, early 2000s is so daming available um, trading literature, so daming books, so daming videos. So where can you learn to make a trading system? Well, of course, if you're just starting out, you have to know the basics of um, kung technical system, you have to know technical analysis, right? So I learned technical analysis on YouTube. I learned through Investagrams, diba? on investadaily.com or blog. So you can check it out there, daming articles. And so YouTube, right? Kami ngayon, we have a lot of videos on YouTube. Naga chart session din kami every week. So where can you learn? You can learn from books. There are people like William O'Neill, Mark Minervini, who teach your system. You can read. So for those who are just starting out, I would recommend you read books like, um, number one, The Trading Code. Number two, how to make money in stocks. Number three, trade like a stock market wizard. And number four, market wizards. Available yung mga books na yan sa fully booked. And I think some are selling sa Lazada and Shopee. So you can learn to create a trading system from books. You can learn online. And daming resources available. Eh. You can learn from, you can learn in YouTube. Diba? You can learn from communities. Diba? So I learned, so how did I learn my system? So you know, I just read a lot of books, watch a lot of videos. And, if, and marami kasi mga Ma resources, eh. sobrang dami ang nagtuturo. So you have to filter it out, what works for you. So to answer the first question, how did I make my system? Is yun nga, I started, ito yung entire process ko. So I read all the articles on Investor Daily. I watch a lot of YouTube videos on YouTube for technical analysis. And then, of course, maraming active communities sa Facebook. I joined a few. Right? And then, tinest ko lang lahat. Tinest ko yung breakout system. Tinest ko yung bounce system, yung swing, yung trend follow. I had to test everything to see what works best for me. So when you choose a trading system, it has to be something that um, fits your personality, fits who you are, fits your circumstance. You can't trade in, you can't be a day trader if you have a full-time job and hindi pwede mag-trade sa office. So that's not possible or it's very hard to do so. And so you have to know diba, what works for you. And what worked for me is um, at least how I trade stocks is I focus on market leaders. So I'm very influenced by the trading style of William O'Neill and Mark Minervini, which I focus on growth investing, specifically when I trade the US market. But when I trade the Philippine market, what I noticed was, hindi ka lang pwedeng um, one-trick pony. When I noticed in the Philippine market, you have to um, adapt to the market environment. So if we're in a bull market or prices are going up, you can focus on breakout and trend following systems. But if we're in a downtrending market, you have to focus on bounce on rever- and reversal. So ako, um, my system in the Philippines, it adapts diba? depending on the environment. Like nung, if you traded breakouts no March to April, 
mababa hit rate mo kasi yung team, yung market team at that time was reversals. Diba? So you have to be able to adapt. And so, yun, I hope that answered your question, Jan. Thank you, Jan. Uh, to add rin to what Thomas said, um, I think it's worth noting na um, Thomas really studies hard and parang hard work talaga to um, parang get it right. It's not just like pupunta ka lang sa Facebook tapos may nag-advise ng certain stock or certain crypto na parang mumoon raw siya or akit raw siya na you follow it again, right? You have to use your own system and trust your own system. And okay. Thank you, Jan. Okay. Um, feel ko we can start with another uh, another crypto na, no? Toma. Sige. Ah, gusto mo? Um, Litecoin. Tara, Litecoin. Litecoin. Okay, taka. That's LTC USD. LTC. Just to share lang rin, um, we offer these crypto on PDAF. So, yung mga chinachart ngayon ni Toma, you can also um, find it on PDAF. See, okay. So, since this is the first time I'm charting this, I want to look at the bigger picture, of course, what's happening. Okay, so wait lang. Let me just take a look at it. Because, like, you, if, you, if this is the first time you're looking at it, it's also the first time I'm looking at it. So from a big picture point of view, so we have two major downtrend lines. One downtrend lines, one from the pinna top. Then we have one here. So what I'm waiting to see is, let's focus on this shorter term pattern. Yeah. Right, so we have a downtrend line here. So of course, the confirmation would be if kaya, if mabasag ni Litecoin yung 55 na area. But looking at it now, so wala pa masyado nangyayari. Medyo tahimik pa siya. Right? And unlike kay mas trip ko yung structure ni, ni Bitcoin or maybe ni XRP. So, but again, um same thing applies, no? You can take a look at the intraday chart. So right now, it's the same thing. We have, diba, similar to XRP, we had a breakout here. We had a falling wedge here. So again, yung system na ginagamit mo sa PSE or ginagamit mo sa other markets, applicable din yan um, in any other market. Diba? But now, just looking at the intraday time frame, Mukhang medyo all that si Litecoin. No? So if I were to trade this, baka, well, we have to see if it can break this previous high. So if it can break this previous high at 45, or if kaya pwede mo bilhin yung dips no? at, the, at, the, at the support level of the previous base. So medyo namigay na siya no? sa 43 area. So namigay na siya ng dip. And ngayon, if you look, look at it again, for a bigger time frame, wala pa masyado nangyayari. So, I would focus much more on intraday opportunities here. And you can also take a look pala if you can break this area, no? Dito. Kasi lagi siya nauuntong dito. Itong 50. Right? 50 also a major psychological number. Not only in stocks, also in any other market. So, yun yung ko dyan. And then, you can see if kaya babasagan yung 55. So, okay. ngayon, you can like just wait to see if kaya magbibigay pa ng isang dip. So ngayon, nasa gitna kasi na range. Ito yung trading range niya. Diba? So wala pa masyadong confirmation of anything. So you can buy on support if ever it gives you another opportunity to buy. Or you can just wait um, if you can break out of resistance. So that's you think oh, I like coin. So hindi ko siya masyadong trip right now. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Uh, mayroon ba tayong bagong questions? Um, we'll check this one from Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Thank you for your question. Tanong lang po, if mag-cancel ba ng order, babalik din ba yung fee? Yes, definitely. Kung na-cancel yung order, um, babalik yung fee. Thank you, Dan. Okay. Mag- mag-suggest naman kayo, guys, ng mga uh, crypto. Uh, may kin- may kinoment dito si Oli. Lots of companies using these crypto to do scams like HYIP and crypto mining and traders and saying they will trade for you to earn profits. What is your advice to avoid these? Um, so, if you guys... Answer going to uh, quickly, Toma. Um, mm, yeah. So recently, parang there's this one famous na scheme, Ponzi scheme na she share recently in social media. I think the name is Portage, no? Um, we really advise to avoid this. Kahit yung S- Philippine SEC it denounced it as a Ponzi scheme, and um, there are talaga when you hear someone, when you hear na someone can offer you parang real profits in in return of you giving them money. Parang that's my that my red flag na yun kasi um, the point of crypto is to buy your own crypto and like yung babae and sell mo lang siya, parang stocks lang siya. It's not supposed to be an um 
parang a scheme where you give money to another person. The, the, whole, the only thing you do, mag-sign up ka sa PDAX, um, cash in, bili ka ng Bitcoin, bili ka ng XRP, bili ka ng Ethereum, all these different altcoins or, bit, or, or cryptocurrencies. You don't need to um, um, like go to these people who try to guarantee you profits. No? So, yeah. Uh, thank you, Oli, for your question. Meron tayo from Bong. Hi, Bong. Please check ADA. Okay. May, may ADA ba dyan sa Investa? ADA. ADA. I don't think so. Tiga, tiga. Let me go to, let me, let me open trading view. Sige, sige. ADA. So, yeah, ADA. ADA over USD, parang ganun. ADA over USD. May ganun. Okay, okay. Wait lang, wait lang. Let me just open sure, no trading worry. view. Ada, wala rin actually sa PDAX, pero since you guys requested, you know, kailangan natin i- gusto natin i-share yung thoughts ni Tola. Ada USD. Ada USD. Ang XRP now, maganda bumili habang mababa fresh. So, I will soon. Okay, taka. Let me just share my screen to the other. Sure. Okay, ADA USD. So mm. also, oh, lakas na ito. So also, again, my first time seeing this. Right. As relatively, I'm assuming bago to, no? Yeah. 2018. Medyo. Mm, okay, so now actually, okay. So we have um a major, like, all-time high breakout here at point ten or, yeah, around point ten. Uh, but prior to the run-up, this was probably the best low-risk entry if you were to get it would be at this base. Diba? We have a descending or symmetrical triangle, whatever you call that pattern. Now, if you did it down to the early, but you can see the pattern much better. Diba? So, ito yung parang confirmation breakout niya. Right? So, at least, yung maganda sa, sa, yung sa crypto, so like I said, uh, may, may times talaga na it can get really volatile. But you can easily get shaken out of your position, especially if you chase the price. Like, for example, if, if hindi ka disciplined, right? And you na FOMO ka, and you bought here, dito ka na bumili, di ba? And um, yes, umaket siya afterwards. But if you weren't scalping, if you were holding sana for a bigger move, you probably would have, you probably would have got shaken out here. Teka. Sa na drawing tool? Ito, you probably would have got shaken out here, di ba? So again, very wild, minsan you swing sa Bitcoin. But obviously, if you got it here, ay sa crypto, if you got it here, di ba, at the, yung pinaka low risk entry point, exactly at the breakout, um, unless you had three stops in place, you probably could have held this for a bigger move. Again, look at the early chart. There was another uh, continuation pattern prior to the breakout. But we have another one here. And then after the breakout, we had one last over here. Right, so actually, medyo madaming in intraday patterns. So yun yung maganda. Kaya pa rin... Um, sa crypto, yung pure price action trading. But looking at it right now, medyo wawagsak, no? You want, it's making a series of lower highs and higher, and, tama ba? Lower highs and lower lows. So, possibly, um, what I want to see is, personally lang, is kung kaya ba, kung malakas talaga, mag-form ng continuation pattern. Right, sorry. It will form a continuation pattern here. But if not, ba mag pa yan. So, kung believer ka dito, I'm not really sure what altcoin this is. Mga medyo exotic, medyo bago lang. So now, basic SNR flip. So yung dating resistance should act as support. So you want to see if you can get it anywhere sa 0 0.1050, 0 0.1060. It's tignan mo kung mag-hold. Then you can cut your losses. Diba? If, wherever you want to cut it. Pero kung price structure-wise, kapag nag-below 0.10, uh, kailangan mo na mag-cut. So yun tingin ko dito. So for now, I want to see what's gonna do. Mag-form ba ng continuation pattern or mag-retest. Pero okay lang, pag nag-retest, that's still a very healthy pullback. So once mag-retest, you want to see the stock, you want to see um, the coin turn up, that's make a new a new high, diba? break that previous um, high. Pero solid to, kasi nga, yun nga, all-time high. So, solid to, maganda tingnan. So, watch so, out. That's for, you know, yeah, add the USD. Watch this. Okay. Sige. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Tom. Uh, may tanong si Kent. Does 24 hours volume matter when picking a stock if yes what 24 hour volume do you prefer in trading bitcoin 24 hour volume Fair um 
daily vol- daily candle yata yung pinag-uusapan niya. So, Ay, pinapoint daw niya. Okay. So, okay, daily volume. All right. So, mm-hmm. does daily volume matter when picking a stock? So, the answer is yes. It's um extremely important, right? If you ask me um what I would rather have if I would have a on my chart, if I could choose, di ba? Kung ano indicators gusto ko, RSI, MACD, etc., etc., or price and volume lang, I would automatically choose price and volume. Um, I made a recent video, if tignan sa YouTube namin, or sa Facebook, na how to read volume. That's how much na ina-aral ko talaga yung volume. Um, basically, for the reasons is, volume um gives you can give you clues on when a specific security or asset can go up but it can show you signs of accumulation it can so, show you signs of distribution it can give you partial gravy as a price so if if price breaks out for example here if price breaks out of resistance obviously you want to see above average volume similar dito diba but usually ginagamit ko yung volume mostly sa stocks but it also applies parents sa crypto so one basic thing i want to see on market leaders is i want to see Whenever it's creating consolidation patterns, like here, right? I want to see below average volume. Then when it breaks out, when it goes higher to the upside, I want to see above average volume. So how do you know if it's below average or above average? It's blue line. Lang na yan. So as you can see, when it was consolidating, it was consolidating on low volume. Then once it broke out, yeah, naka above average volume. And then when it continued higher, my sustaining volume on the upside. So for me, import, very important, your volumes of stocks. So I think you should watch that video or read um, articles about it, how to read volume. And is it also applicable to crypto? Um, yes, I use it the same way, parents, uh, sa crypto. So nakapin yung uh, video na yan for your future watching after this webinar. You can watch it. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you for that uh, comment, no, Ken. Uh, okay. As we have one from Antonino. As a newbie on crypto, what can you advise to us? When to buy or when to sell? Mm, it depends. Um, well, yeah. Say, you, Kyle. You're good. Uh, ko, parang, right as mentioned before, um, parang it depends on your trading strategy, rin, on like what you determine as good prices to buy and uh, parang good times to buy and good to sell. Parang through experience, you get to learn. Um, parang, it's an accumulation of experience. Chaka parang aral ka ng aral para you learn when to bend the sell. Ikaw, Toma, what do you think? So as a newbie sa crypto, when would I advise to buy it sell? So if you're a newbie, whether it's in stock, oh, sige, let's, I'm assuming na nag-trade ka na ng probably stocks. No? So it's a newbie in crypto, the number one thing you have to understand muna is it can get really volatile. So you want to, if you're a newbie, you might want to focus on bigger picture plays rather than intraday scalping. And I, I can't really answer the question when to buy, when to sell it, because that's going to depend on you. That's going to depend on your strategy, on the setup you use. So I suggest if you don't know pa when to buy and sell, you have to um, learn maybe technical analysis, learn support assistance, watch um, the video, the webinar last week, ng PDAX, where they invited um, Ken or si Yuri from Z Freak Drive. He taught um, price structure trading, support and resistances. So yun, that's my answer to the question. I would also recommend to watch the content of Investagrams. My name is on YouTube and Facebook. So, I mean, if you really want to learn, um, invest the time in his content. So, thank you, Antonina. Okay. Um, can we do Can we do XLM USD rows? Have any Israel XLM USD? XLM USD. Huh. Ah. So bang bago din. Oh man. Um the update. Man, I I luma na ba to? No medyo luma na yung XLM eh, so far. I think it's trading. Ah, so yeah, it's trading view wala pa masyadong nakita. But I'm assuming this was a major breakout, no? Hmm. So if you look at the daily wala masyadong magagawa. So probably I would look at it from an early perspective. So same thing, pero medyo exotic yung altcoin na to, no? So probably a yeah. uh, very illic- uh, very volatile. But just on the price, kasi kita mo naman yung price 0.08619 blah blah blah. So but oh. just from a price action based standpoint, um as you can see, it's right now it's falling uh it's forming a continuation pattern. It's what you call a falling wedge. So you can see if it can, if price can break out of this area, that's a potential first entry. And a confirmation, if ever it will, right? If ever na tutuloy nga siya on the upside, what you want to see is, kaya niya basagin tong previous high. 
So, yun lang, basic lang. That's what I, yun yung tingin ko kay XLMUSD. Tapos, mukhang sa major cycle levels na yun kasi siya, dito sa 0.1. So, pag mabasag yan, dun siya yun yung high niya dati. So, kung weak yung titignan mo, kung mabasag yun yung 0.1, well, potentially, ba may bigger move, ba mag-spike siya, baka mag-momentum after that. Okay. Thank so, you. yun yung ko kay XLMUSD. Okay. Thank you. Um, question slash comment lang, Thomas. So, parang na-notice ko is, like, uh, your strategy is based on parang probabilities, no? Like, if it will break this certain price, that's when you buy, that's when you sell. Um, This is price action, no? Tama ba? Yes. 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 Parang, could you give a brief description of what price action is? Just for those who don't, who might not know. Ah, okay. So, price action is basically, um, it's what you see in the chart. So, so you have, can, you have can, if you know what this is called, it's called candlesticks, right? So, if you do basic price action trading, okay, you, you make your decisions based on what you see sa price, what it's doing. You will see specific patterns. You will see specific setups. Now, of course, you have to learn. Again, you can. there's so many resources online. Hanapin mo na lang. Uh, many mga um, chart patterns, continuation patterns, breakout patterns, um, candlestick patterns, and reversal patterns. So you you base all of your decisions by looking at the charts. Right? That's basic price action trading. You don't take into consideration other factors like um, if you're a pure price action trader, di mo na, wala ka na ginagamit ibang indicators. You use moving averages, RSI, MACD. You don't use any fundamental factors, any macroeconomic factors. Talagang focus mo lang kung ano yung ginagawa ng presyo. Diba? Pero ako personally, um, I focus on price action, yung price structure, basic support resistance. But I also couple it with a few indicators. So I use volume a lot, like as I've been talking about a while ago. And I also use, um, occasionally, sa stocks, I use mga moving averages. Right, you know, moving averages and um RSI. So yun. Got it. Okay. Sige. Thank you, Toma. Um let's let's have like one or two more, pero let's stick naman sa less exotic naman. Balik tayo sa Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash naman. BCH. Bitcoin Cash. BCH USD. Teka, meron yun sa Investa. Teka, lipat ko. Yes, super meron yun sa Investa. So, I'll answer lang some side questions. Hi, Oli. Oli's question is, aside from coins.ph, what crypto wallet do you recommend to use? Will PDAX have crypto wallets soon? And if PDAX has plans to have mobile app for trading? Hi, maraming questions, Oli. So, first, I'll ask, uh, I'll answer, um, PDAX has plans to have mobile app for trading now. Um, it's under development to be launched soon. Um, will PDAX have a crypto wallet first? I'm um, focus mo na kami sa mobile app for trading. Yes. So, ayan. Thank you, Oli. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, BCH. So, BCHUSD. So, again, um, this is my first time seeing this. So, daga. let me just take a look at what it looks like from the bigger picture. So, usually, why I don't know what's up. If I take a look at what well, it looks like a bigger picture. So, grab it, no? So, major, parang downtrend na, medyo no olats na. Okay. Mm. Sige. So, probably what I would focus on, kung big picture breakout, it would obviously be above this area. It's a 500, but medyo malayo pa. So, I want, so now let's drill it down. Let's try to see what we can see sa in today. Alright, so in today, uh, medyo, medyo napapansin ko minsan yung mga ibang uh, cryptos, minsan correlated sila. So we see XRP and Litecoin, they had, light, si Litecoin, I think it was Litecoin, they had a similar move, they had a consolidation pattern, then they broke out. And then ngayon, same thing, similar to XRP actually, Um, after nag-breakdown siya eh, sa structural support area niya, and now, parang yun retest niya, di ba? So as long as, kung intraday trader ka lang, as long as BCHUSD is, Right, not it can't recover above 240. I would say this is probably a retest of that downtrend line before, right? Assuming another move lower, diba? So, nag break down, nag retest, and potentially ba may move lower. Then look at a larger time frame. Look at a larger time frame. Yung pinaka parang uh, major breakout would be etong 500, but prior to that, diba? Baka mabasag ito. This one area I'd probably be looking at. Hmm. Right. So, it's 250, 255. If it can, yeah, basic lang, if it can break that area. So, ito yung, ito yung structure na nitinong ngayon. So, ngayon nasa gitna lang siya na range. 
So wala pa masyadong confirmation of anything, no? So if if depends on your style, kung buyer ka ng dips, if it can give you one more dip to 220, that's a viable area where you can buy or accumulate on support. Pero for me, I would rather wait for the for the confirmation. So break ng 250 to 253, 255. That's an area I'm looking at for BCH. Right. Got it. Uh, thank you. Um, thank you for that. Uh, anyone have questions regarding that? Audience? Uh, Francis, hi sir, tanong ko lang po, ano po ibig sabihin ng spread sa PDAC? Um, spread is more of like um, yung difference ng buy and sell price. So kung parang, for example, um, Bitcoin, yung buy order is, for example lang, 500,000, 500, tapos yung sell order is 550,000. 550,000 kasi naturally you want to sell at a higher price. Yung spread would be the difference of that. So 550,000 minus 500,000, 50,000 yung spread. Meaning yung difference lang between the highest the highest buy price tsaka yung lowest sell price. So I would also recommend na um, let's uh, study more on uh, technical analysis and the basic concepts para malaman natin mga Thank you. Um, so here we can have one last, Toma. Um, Ethereum, Ethereum USD. Ethereum USD. Yes. Meron yun yata dyan sa investa. Yep. So ito, looks, um, ito siguro yung pinaka-similar na itsura kay Bitcoin. So ito yung structure at nilinan ko. So I'm waiting to see if it can break this major, the ba, downtown line. It's actually really close to doing so. And yung maganda sa kanya ngayon, it's, diba, it's in this continuation pattern. So, mukhang baka ito na yung final dip is during the consolidation pattern, you can see na below, most of the time, below average yung volume. So, tayimik siya. And in recent days, diba, leading to the run-up, as it's close to breaking that resistance at 250, increasing, we see increasing volume. Diba? So, basta yun lang. You want to see the confirmation na mabasag na yung 250. All at so, pag nag-below 220, but yun yung parang negative side. But once it breaks 250, the next resistance would be at around itong high na to. So you want to see if it can break the 280 area. So this area is where you can add more to your position or mas conservative ka, you can start the bus selling at a profit. And then I would probably sell, if I'm able to get it there, I would probably sell at around this 360 area. So if you were to buy the breakout, Diba? Pwede ka pa, pwede ka mag-trim onti dito, pwede ka mag-add ng maliit ng position depending on the price action. And then, pwede ka take profit dyan sa mga 350 sa previous high. So, yun yung tingin ko kay Ethereum. So, ngayon, make or break talaga itong 250 na area. Kumabasag na yun, solid. Yes. Okay. Uh, daily chart to, na? Daily chart. Okay. Yeah, I was looking at the, the daily chart. Okay. All right. Um... I guess um, since towards the tail end, na rin tayo, uh, let's just entertain some of the questions. Um, first of all, thank you again, Toma, for um, live charting. Um, super. Thank you, thank you. Learned a lot, actually. Uh, let's just have some questions up from our audience. Kung may pa ever. While okay. we're at it, while we're at it, I will just share also. A special treat for our viewers. Um, so, dahil you reached the end of our webinar, I would like to offer you guys a promo code. The promo code would be when you cash in, no? Pag nag cash in kayo ng 1,000 pesos, tapos gamitin niyo yung webinar na promo code. Promo code webinar. Um, you'll receive a 50 peso cashback to your account. And limited lang to as we're offering 500 uses lang. So cash in a minimum of 1,000 pesos, and then you will be able to receive a cashback to your account. So thank you. Um, any more questions? Any more questions? Anybody? Okay, thank you. Thank you. So I mean, so hmm, guys, questions. <laughs> questions? Anybody? Lana. Lana. Uh, so siguro ako na lang. Um, Toma, as a param parting words, no. What would your advice be to? Um, so I I know you answered it na kanina pa, pero uh, what would your advice be is 
especially now, parang uh, during these times, to traders that are just uh, dipping their toes and then don't have a, parang they don't know where to start because so many daming ang resources. Like, uh, what would you recommend for them to do? So, yeah, so those who are papasok pa sa market don't really know um, what to do yet. All right. So I'm assuming this question is either whether stocks or crypto. I mean, sobrang dami, tama, sobrang dami resources available online. So you just have to, I mean, filtering it. Obviously, I have a bias because I'm from I'm from Investigram. So, so we release free call. You guys can you, can, you guys can actually, you have to figure it out for yourselves. Eh? You can't. I can't judge na, oh, wag kayo makinig dyan, wag kayo makinig dito. You have to judge which works for you, which um, which um, contributor, which content makers um, provide the most value in your opinion. So you guys can check out, you know, our YouTube channel, right? So we post a lot of free videos every week, whether it's technical analysis, trading 101, um, weekly vlogs, um, conversations with traders where we interview some of the some of you mga sikat na traders in the community. And we have Investor Daily where we post kung you learn more from reading we vote we post very high value right um trading trading related articles whether for beginners or intermediate or mass advanced kana i'm sure if you want to talk about crypto yeah, you can also go to the so, social media sites of pdax i'm sure marami din sa tuturo and like ito we're doing this free webinars diba pang ano nito diba pang pang apat ba Kyle? yes yes sir pang apat pang apat oh, na web see, so there's a lot of so, yun, so you just really have to know na w- what content works for you, diba? Of course, uh, may mga books, diba? May maraming book recommendations din. So, yun lang, just know ano mga mainstream books na lahat ni-recommend. So, I, like I recommended a few a while ago, spot yun na lang ulit. Now, you can just check the different communities, the different YouTube um web, the YouTube channels and see what works for you. San ka mas natututo? Alright. Great. Um, so, uh, with that being said, thank you very much for coming, Toma. Uh, thank you for sharing your insights and wisdom to us, no? Uh, every for everyone else, thank you for coming. Also, um, feel feel free to check out uh, previous webinars, and also I would recommend to check out uh, Investagram's content. Champre, because this is where all of the um, parang all the top trading advice can be, or like at least like strategies, and where you can really learn. I, I would hard vouch. I've been a user since 2015, um, and I've. I've been on their platform here and there. So I would definitely recommend to use uh, Investagram. So, yeah, thank so, you, Kyle. And uh, thank you for the invite. And thank you then sa mga nanonood. Hopefully, na-provide all of the value sa inyo. All right. Okay. Sige. So just one more sa webinar exclusive. If you want to use promo code webinar para may cash ba kayong 50 pesos, gamitin nyo na when you cash in a minimum of 1,000. All right. Sige. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Toma. Uh, we shall uh, thank you. See you next week, guys. Bye bye.